Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 26th September 2021 and I thought I'd just kind of give a uh, post-mortem as it were on the London shopping trip uh, we went on yesterday and in particular I did things slightly differently uh, because a very nice lady came up to us at the start and gave us this massive great sort of wadge of leaflets to hand out. Um, it's actually these ones here. I won't uh, do too much of a close up on that because there's some things that this platform might like, um, but I will sort of zoom in and show you a bit of footage uh, from the top of it. And it actually refers to uh, a Daily Mail or mail online uh, feature that came out about three months ago. So not the newest thing in the world, but it was when um, uh, Robert Malone, who uh, apparently was the inventor of the new technology that goes into, into that. And uh, it was when he was saying that because, you know, it's so new, people shouldn't be coerced into having it and various other kind of younger age groups shouldn't be having it either. So, uh, and it was kind of, you know, the article, I've read the uh, sort of article in, in the mail and it seemed relatively neutral actually as well. So it's quite surprising they reported on it. Um, but kind of the thing is and I know most of us uh, on our side of the argument don't think much of the Daily Mail and that's fair enough but unfortunately most of the people out there do give them a lot of credibility uh, but I was using that to our advantage yesterday because what I was doing as I was taking these leaflets and I wasn't sort of trying to do anything else i wasn't trying to say oh yeah look look you need to take um notice of this because this is serious stuff this is what this doctor's saying or anything like that all i was doing is just going up to people and just showing them the top where it says the mail online and just says look this is something from the daily mail for you to read and uh, and this was obviously i wasn't giving these out to my sort of fellow sort of marchers because uh, that would be preaching to the converted but I was looking at people who were obviously sort of bystanders uh, obviously sort of passers-by uh, but who weren't like that because I knew it would be no good trying to engage with them but I was just going up to people who weren't uh, sort of muzzled up and just saying look this is something from the daily mail uh, to read and quite a well quite a lot of people were saying no thank you um which is fair enough i just i didn't pull the pestering them i just moved on a couple of them i kind of just uh, had a bit of banter with them i just said oh you don't really look like daily mail readers anyway and i got a, a, a laugh or two from that uh so it, it's pretty good really um, but uh, quite a few people kind of started to say no, and but when I sort of said, "Oh no, it's from the uh, sort of Daily Mail," they then took it. So that was a positive thing, I think. Also, I was putting them in through sort of letter boxes and stuff like that as well. When I saw a little row of houses, terraced houses, I sort of like was popping them in through the uh, letter boxes. Uh, so I was doing quite a bit of that as well as doing my filming and just generally kind of enjoying the vibe of the march but I guess really the point of this is is it, as I kind of said a, a few minutes ago it doesn't really matter what we think of the mainstream media uh, the people uh, out there you know this is the normies they do take notice of it so if we've got any opportunity whatsoever to kind of use the name of 
you know the sort of mainstream media outlets or anything mainstream uh, kind of leverage that in our favour. Uh, that is, I think, what we need to do, and I was certainly trying to uh, engage with that leverage uh, to the max yesterday, and with some good results. So, if anyone's watching this and you want to uh, get an idea of how we might be able to sort of carry things forward, maybe that would be an idea uh, for people out there cleverer, cleverer than me to pick up with and, and sort of run with. If you can get some kind of big name uh, in on the conversation when you're sort of talking with uh, sort of normies out there, it does help. But anyway, I think it's a tactic we can use going forward. So I thought that was interesting. And yeah, I thought some of the uh, reactions I was getting yesterday, yesterday as I was sort of handing these leaflets out were interesting and yeah there were quite a lot of bystanders there interested you know interested in taking the uh, leaflets off me so yeah that was good and highly enjoyed the sort of uh, uh, events of yesterday I think I, I know in my last video um, when I showed the footage I was a little bit down on it in certain ways and I still sort of stand by those sentiments but overall I highly enjoyed it and got a lot from it and got a good buzz from it. I'll leave it there Tim from Fair Play now thanks for watching.